fair run chase they've got on their hands today. A yard apart two on the left. And uh, the little Jazz Saria, what dynamic form he's been in the last two games. It's going to have to be. 283 from 50 is a stiff, stiff run chase, even if you've got all that talent. 5.66 per over. If they get him, you'll be glad you've been watching. If they don't, you'll be glad you've been watching New Zealand come back in the series, even though they can't win it, to come back and play in the... Thank you, Smithy. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, at long last, New Zealand have set Sri Lanka some sort of a target this afternoon. This should be scintillating viewing for the next three and a half hours. Jaya Saria has really hit his straps in the last couple of games, and New Zealand will be looking to nip him pretty early. Well, we've had a look at these figures before, and they really are quite remarkable. 52 from 53, that's uh, basically the way he goes about it. High strike rate, good average, plenty of hundreds, you name it, he's got it. And New Zealand need him early. Different sort of player at the other end. Antapatu, his strike rate. We saw Jai Saria 89, this one 66, but he can stick around. Good average. Stephen Fleming a fair bit of pressure coming into this game so far the batsmen have performed well now he needs the bowlers and the field to respond Daryl Tuffy then to open up to Jaya Sari afternoon Martin this afternoon Grant and uh, afternoon the viewers uh, in New Zealand and also in Asia watching that automatically makes them feel a little bit more at ease. Got it high on the bat and he might get away with it. And yes, uh, he does. Now, what do the umpires say about this? Quite happy with the height of the delivery. Cricketer. Oh! Another one in the air and the catch will be taken. Let's check with the umpires. It's okay. Jaya Saria goes, big blow. Son of Jaya Saria immediately looked at Doug Cowie, square leg umpire. And uh, the other thing to look at is that James Franklin knocks the bales off. And that climbed on Jaya Saria. It looked to be okay in terms of uh, it being just below shoulder height. Easy catch for Vincent. So that is huge. Franklin is rewarded there. Jaisiri gone for three, Sri Lanka nine for one. Change in the batting order, Aravinda De Silva is the new man in, but he's gone up to the non-striker's end, Franklin. Good looking shot from Atapatu. And there's the first boundary of the innings. Coming off the last ball of the fourth over. And Sri Lanka 13 for one by Aravinda de Silva to pull the short pitch delivery. Well, he's hit it uh, down the ground. Looked a bit awkward in doing so, but he's uh, hit it to the fence. I don't think he's meant to hit it here. If, uh, if he has meant to. Well, he's meant to. I think he's gone probably over mid on. Instead, it's just caught up with him quicker and bounced a bit more. But uh... edged and straight to Stephen Fleming. Franklin strikes again, and the silver is gone. High fives all around, and why not? James Franklin, the young man who uh, got a bit of tap in Eden Park in the third one day, has come back here at uh, Jade Stadium and he is knocking over some of the best players in the world. Jai Sarir first, now Aravinda de Silva goes and Sri Lanka 19 for two. So let's have a look at the stats for Sangakara. Pretty useful average. Just the 250 so far. And he'll need to add to that today to help the Sri Lankan cause. Still 264 runs away from winning this game. Yes, 
Yes, he's got him. Big appeal from the New Zealanders. And Daryl Tuffy has his reward. The key thing here is that Tuffy has to pitch it on, and I'm sure he does, and he even gets it to come back towards the middle stump. Look at that, pitching on, right on middle stump, bang, straightens. That is going to take middle right out of the ground. And Doug Cowie has no doubt about that. He hardly gets four to the crease line. That is a good blow too. And Tuffy gets in on the act. It's 21 for three. Joe Wardner, new batsman for Sri Lanka. He's in under the strike early. He's uh, coming in just the seventh over. shot not perfectly timed but uh, it will go all the way for four much needed boundary for the Sri Lankan cause still got to play very positively in these first 15 overs even though they've lost three wickets it's one of the lessons that these young bowlers have learned that if you do give these guys any width or you err in terms of your length they're too short they just dispatch it so comfortably and so easily. They are marvellous stroke makers, but today they've been pretty much on the button. Yes! Edge. And not getting through to Adam Perori. Eight overs gone. It's 26 for three. Over the top, intentionally hit down to third man, and that's four. Great end to the over. It was a good one up until that point. Nine overs gone, 30 to three. Well, just look at the way here that uh, Tapatu hits under the ball and intentionally hits it up and over around about third slip. In the air, over the top of the onside. Just running gently into the mid-wicket for four. Orthodox player Jay Awardena presents a very straight face. You see here just drifting into leg stump, only just. Very orthodox pick up. Harris. No ball. Well, it's all happening out here. Two close runouts and two balls. Lou Vincent and Craig McMillan having shies at the stumps, and then no ball from Jimmy Franklin. And yes, clearly a no ball. Ah, straight to Jacob Borum at a well, he's in about a fourth slip position. And the air passed. Craig Spearman at cover, and that's under the fence to four. So a big over for Sri Lanka. Could have been a big one for New Zealand. 12 overs gone, 47 for three. With a top catch by Oram. And the slips. And the last ball dispatched just wide of cover for four. Tuffy. Oh, it's in the air. Is it going to beat the man running back hard as Lou Vincent? Yes, it clears him and will go to the boundary. Got enough on this. First ball of the over. Going for four. Had a good contact. Good stretch short there by Tuffy. Hooked high in the air over square leg. Well, it's a period of consolidation for the Sri Lankans at the moment. They're certainly not inhibited in the way that they're playing. Up 4-0 in this series. Prepared to take it to the New Zealanders, even though three wickets have been lost already. Well, he's picked this one up as well and got it wide and mid on. This one won't run away for the boundary. Millen doing the, the chasing. Risk the overs. Good stroke. Oh, this is a nice cricket stroke, this one. Just a wee bit short and wide. And Atapatu has cashed in here. Just off the back foot, punching that through square cover. 
That's a lovely shot. Of course, no man sweeping out there. Tuffy, two young men, Tuffy and Franklin, rolling 14 overs between them. Oh, he's picked him up again. We've seen that stroke just an over ago. This one's gone very quickly to the boundary. Stroke Joe Wardner. Just a little bit full and onto that leg stump again. He's very quick to realise that. No one back there. Yeah, the line was a little off, and so was the length that time for Morham. Enabled Joe Wooden just to get under it and lift it up over mid on. A quick single taken. In a few of these, this time Harris has hit and has run away, and there will be overthrows here. Fleming doing the receiving. And now it looks as though we'll go upstairs to see whether the run out was on. Harris doesn't look convinced, but again, he was in quickly. Through from a mobile platform. This is the skill of, uh, of Harris. So let's have a look now to see. Well, there we are. That's pretty convincing. It's interesting the combinations that perform well in the one-day games, not just in bowling but in batting as well. This one's pushed wide, just straighter than mid on, diving, but couldn't stop that. It's a good shot, well timed into the boundary for four. Well, I just wondered whether that was going to sneak through to the left of McMillan. A desperate dive from him, but you just wondered. Oh, it beat him with pace, you're dead right. Back on the angle, perhaps uh, Ian. So, Warham given the task with Vittori. Oh, yes, and he's just found it. Nice and fine, there's a gap there. That'll go through to the boundary, unimpeded. So, with the way that the these batsmen are constantly picking up runs and at a really good pace, there's going to be a lot of pressure on New Zealand, the hierarchy on the New Zealand team on his off stump. It's good bowling by Vittori. Oh, oh giving him a bit of words, and he's, in fact, it's a good cricket stroke because he's got managed to get it through extra cover. You'll notice the position on the ball that the batsman took, moving outside his leg stump to give himself the angle to hit it to extra cover. There he goes. And still hitting with a full face. Batsman Natapatu. It's cricket strokes. And uh, continue to get the ones and twos. And there's four more. Just wait for the loose ball and put it away. Not much of a gap there behind square. Atapatu has uh, brought up his 50 in fine style. Successive 50s for him. Harris too short. Just looking at Harris's field, I feel that this man should move around and uh, this guy should come in front. So Tuffy on the boundary should move all the way around here. And Vittori. A bit of bowling, Yorkton. Joe Warden had charged, and he yorked himself. Harris was on target. And bingo, New Zealand are back in it. 99 run partnership broken. Well, I know the value of this one. He's yorked himself, Jay Warden. He's come down the wicket, and at the last minute, he's closed the face on the bat. And Harris has snuck through the gate. That is a huge blow. Jay Wardner goes to 46, 120 for four. 47 matches for him. Look at that average one day cricket, nearly 45. Had a good strike rate, already 950s. 
and 100 to his name. Very well, he's on 60 from 68 balls. Ball Pulls that away, places it well. And it races away here at Jade Stadium, fast outfield. Eighth boundary to Atapatu. He's got a good eye. Initially he looked to come forward to that one, and then he rocked onto the back foot and waited to hit it. Gone very hard out of Padu, and he wants the second. Yeah! And a direct hit. What a magnificent throw. And it's moments of genius like that that can turn a game. Atapatu is gone. Well, he's quite an athlete, Jacob Orham. He's a big lad, six foot six, and we'll see here the direct hit. Well, he's well short of his ground. That's a long way down for a big man. Great run out. Marvin Atapatu out for 76, and it's 150 for five. New batsman Kumar Damasena for Sri Lanka. Dunedin, 5 1 days. Arnold's uh, got this one through, and it will have enough on it by the looks of things. Oh, magnificent. Lou Vincent did a great job and saved one run. Third umpire, no doubt, will want to have a look at this. But he saves a few runs in the field, Lou Vincent, with his tremendous enthusiasm and pace. Now let's see how this one pans out. Yep, good as gold. Yeah, a great stop by the young man. His enthusiasm is actually quite infectious. Batsman in Russell Arnold, supported by Damasena. That's a good stroke. That's a very good stroke. Really, very hard to catch someone out when the ball is along the ground. So you're not giving the fielding chance there. And really, to hit it with that power, quite full. Let's look how full this is. Yeah, you see, he had to get down to that. So, good start, really. Second ball of the over. That's not a bad reply, is it? One on the chin. Will you take that on the chin? It's a big hit. I've got a feeling this carried by, I think, a couple of metres. Big blows. Not a bad way to say, have it back in style. gone fine for four. McMillan had the early say, but this is turning out to be a huge over for Damasena in Sri Lanka. The run rate required has come down quite markedly, and he knows it. Well, he's lost his line. Now, whether the little serve meant that he just lost where he had to bowl. See, that's a good stroke, and he's got it fine enough, and as soon as it goes fine like that, it's quick. And there we are. 13 runs from that over. Plenty much in credit there, yes. The, the bowler there not too happy with himself. 194 for five off 39. Just be here and you do it. <laughs> that is a good stroke. Bisecting the two fielders out on the boundary on the leg side. Damasena has shown the willingness. Russell Arnold continues to just look to pick up singles. This one just drops a little bit short. And really, more of a heave, really, than getting it. Oh, it's gone straight up. Plenty of fielders converging. Harris comfortable. So that's the end of... Courageous little innings, really, from Damasena, made 30. Tried to pull it across to the leg side. This time, 
hit high on the bat, went straight in the air. Harris comfortable. So Damasina gone for 30. Sri Lanka now 209 for six. Noan Zoysa is the new player for Sri Lanka. He's built a little bit like Jacob Oram. He's a left-hander as well. He's going to have to hit the ball just as far. Ten balls to go. Catch it! Just over the top. And beautifully timed by Zoysa, who showed us before today that he can bat. Tori here, just not quite getting up full enough. It's also a left-hander hitting with the turn. Just picked it up over him. Happy bowling. He's got under this. It's over McMillan's head, I suspect. Yes, it is. A big blow struck by Zoysa. 13 off the over already. Oh, Tories tried it again. He's flighted the ball, Zoyce has got under it, hasn't hit it properly, but he's hit it well enough. Back over the bowler's head, clean hit, beautifully played, and he can bat, Zoyce up. Well, we see here Zoysa, the tall man, his foot down the wicket and hitting that straight over long off. It's nine off this over. 20 to various pace. Big full toss, and that's going into the grandstand. Not happy, even though he's hit a six, he thinks it should be a no ball as well. That ball about waist high, bowling at the death. There's Jeff Allett, Scott Styrus, former New Zealand bowlers, and former New Zealand death bowlers. They'll know exactly what to do, but they're not in the right place at the moment. McMillan will pick this one up. And one run. Millen or Oren. No chance of a second there. Just the four off the over. And there's 50 for Russell Arnold. Standout. Junior Ranatunga has done for many years at number six in the Sri Lankan batting lineup. Oh, he slipped down leg side. He released the grip off the last ball of the over. And in the end, eight off the over. 256 for six. Just slipping down leg side. Fine legs up. There's no chance for the man there who's in the circle. It's through for four. Eight runs off that over. Scoring it over nine runs and over Sri Lanka. And now they need nine runs and over off the last three. Pull the batsman. Gave away a free ball. Gone in the air. Now there's a chance here. And they've got it. Roger Twos, and away goes Russell Arnold. Well, Russell Arnold here, really, he went for the doctor that time. Only managed to get a thick outside edge and get right under it, and Roger Twos under the ball took a great catch. Sri Lanka 259 for seven, their last batsman out. Two and a half overs left.
exciting finish to the match here at Jade Stadium. Fernando, the new batsman for Sri Lanka. He Still got Zoysa on strike at the other end. Yeah! He'll take that, Craig McMillan. Fernando did try to hit it out of the grounds. Failed to do so. It's 260 for eight. Well, here it is, McMillan hitting the right spot this time. That's a perfect delivery. The tail ender, he knew that he had the opportunity if he latched onto that and hit that for a boundary. Well, that was a huge bonus for Sri Lanka if he gets out. Well, the Zoysa is still at the other end. So Fernando out now, Sri Lanka, 260 for, for eight, the end of the 48th over. Russell Arnold, who was only just departed, is uh, coming back to have another go. So this will add to the confusion, the interest, the excitement. Zoysa lifting and catch taken. Daniel Vittori swallows it. And Sri Lanka lose their ninth wicket. Well, Nguyen Zoysa, he's hit the ball so sweetly in this innings. Full toss. He hit it straight exactly where he needed to hit it, but exactly where Daniel Vittori was. So Zoysa now is out. Sri Lanka now, 263 for nine. Innings the responsibility once again for the second time in the series of Craig McMillan. Bowed well in the last over. Got the wicket of Zoysa. Yes, I think it's Murley's, uh, it's his groin that's causing him problems. He won't be able to stretch down. Yeah. Oh, game is over. And New Zealand finally have the victory. Well, there it is. Murley Durham bowled by Craig McMillan for four. Sri Lanka all out for 269. And the second ball of the 50th over. The first win for New Zealand in this five match series. Not too many smiles amongst the New Zealanders during the series, but there's a big one there from Craig McMillan and also from Captain Stephen Fleming. Terrific game of cricket. New Zealand set it up with their best batting performance. And uh, Sri Lanka came charging back. They were a big hope to win five overs out. But uh, Stephen Fleming, yes, the relief, you can see it. Finally cracked one. And that's a big win for New Zealand leading into the series against Pakistan. Murali Durham, last man out. Jacob Oram, terrific performance from him today with the bat and in the field. And that's a big confidence booster for the Black Caps. They've been very much on the back foot in the last couple of weeks. But just look at those faces. So New Zealand win the fifth and final national back one day at Jade Stadium by 13 runs.